here is a list of orders that we have and you could see that each day we get a different number of orders. So for example, 9th of November, we got three orders, whereas on 10th of November, we received five orders. We would like to set it in such a way that 9th November is in color one, 10th November is in color two, and then 11th November is back on color one. Hello, awesome people. Today, I'm gonna show you a very simple, but an amazing conditional formatting trick using which we can solve this problem. If this is your first time here on my channel, a big hearty welcome to you. Let's get into Excel. If you use a traditional table formatting, which is select all the data, control T, OK, you'll simply get zebra lines. So every other row is in a different color. But this is not what we want. We want the first three rows to be in one color, next five in another color, and then repeat that pattern for each change of date. So this is where we could use the conditional formatting to specify such a condition. I'll show you the condition first and then I will explain to you how we got there. We select all of this data and then we go to conditional formatting new rule. And from here, we will use a formula to determine which cells to format. So this option, we need a formula here that will tell us how many different dates have appeared so far in the data. So as long as we stay on 9 November, this will be 1. Uh, but then once we get into 10 November, it will become 2, 11 November, 3, 12 November, 4. So it needs to keep a track of how many different dates it has encountered so far in the data. And then we could use that to figure out whether we have seen even number of dates or odd number of dates. So this is where the formula will be like this. We can use the newly introduced unique formula to extract how many unique values are there. The values that we need to extract would begin from this cell C5, an absolute reference, but the end point needs to be instead of C$5, we'll call it as $C5. So what this will do is it will keep the end point of the range relative. So it will create a mixed style of referencing here for us where we always start from C5, but we keep the unique count changing as we go down further in the list when we are checking the condition. So this unique will generate a list of unique items. We don't need the unique items. We just need to count how many of them are there. So we'll use a count A function to count how many different dates have appeared so far. So this will be one here, 10 November values will be two, 11 November will be three, 12 November will be four like that. Now that we have counted, we can then test whether this is an even number or odd number. We will use the is odd function on this to test whether this is an odd number or even number. If it is the odd number, it will be true. So this is odd is the condition and then we will apply the format. Let's just say we want to format that in the bright color like that and then click OK. So every time it is an odd number, we will get this kind of nice bright color and even numbers will be in the different shade. You can see that as soon as the date change occurs, it will be in a different color. If you want two color scheme, you can select all of this and then fill it up with a different color like that. So each change of date will be in a different color. Let's just test this. I'm gonna switch this to 14 November 2021. And then our coloring will change here immediately. If I put, uh, for example, here 11 November 2021, will get that coloring as well. If you are not sure how this particular conditional formatting formula is working, let me explain that to you in a separate cell here because there is no easy way for us to verify the calculations through conditional formatting window. So I'll write the formula here. We'll start from the innermost part, which is unique of that and then that. Remember our reference is at the beginning, it is an absolute reference. So it is C dollar C dollar five end point is also locked to column C, but row is not locked. So this will be like this. Now if I press enter, I'll get a single value here, which is equal to 9 November. But if the same formula, if I write it here, I'll get two dates, 9 and 10. So when the formula is running here, and even these other cells, it'll always be just 9 November. But the moment it comes here, it'll return two sets of two values, 9 and 10, because at this point in time, we are looking at this entire box, which has two distinct dates. So we then take all of this, send it to the count a function. That'll be one. 
I'm just going to delete this and then we will fill this down. So you can see that how many different dates have occurred so far. Only one date, two different dates, three different dates at this point because in this box there are three distinct dates and seven dates here. We can then send this to the ease odd function and that will be true or false. So it's true for the first three, false again, true again, false again like that. And whenever this is odd is true, conditional formatting enables the rule and then fills up that bright yellow color. Uh, if it is false, it's not going to fill up any color. So whatever background color that you set will show through here. I hope you enjoyed that particular trick. If you want to learn a little bit more about the conditional formatting, which by the way happens to be one of my most favorite features of Excel, then please check out this video that is shown on the screen. It talks about five conditional formatting tricks that are super easy to implement but sure to impress your bosses and colleagues. Check it out. Bye-bye.